Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'd like to show you the new chord diagrams, as well as the improvements we've made to displaying chord symbols in Dorico 3, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. In order to see chord diagrams in your project, you must first have some chord symbols entered in the music. In setup mode, when you right click a player card, there is a new menu for chord diagrams. Dorico understands about many different kinds of fretted instrument, as you can see from this long list of options. But for now, we're interested in the standard guitar tuning. Once enabled, the chord diagrams are shown beneath the chord symbols. And if you add a new chord symbol, it will be given a diagram automatically. By default, Dorico will choose the simplest chord diagram for any given chord. The criteria being shapes with the most open strings and with finger positions closest to the nut. Dorico contains a library of hundreds of chord diagrams for six string guitar, ukulele, mandolin, and banjo, providing a wide variety of voicings for many different chords. The approach Dorico takes is to define chords not in terms of matching a specific combination of fingered frets at a particular position on the neck, but rather in terms of shapes that are playable by a human hand. Sorry, dogs. Provided any open strings can be stopped by way of a bar, those shapes can then be moved up and down the neck. This means the same shape can be reused for many different chords, even those for instruments with different tunings, as long as the strings are compatible. When you have a chord diagram selected in Dorico, you can press the key command Alt-Q to cycle through the different alternative shapes in the library for that chord. You can see all the alternatives by pressing Shift-Alt-Q, which opens the chord diagram chooser. Make your selection and press OK or hit Return. If your preferred shape is not provided in the library, you can instead press Edit to open the Chord Diagram Editor. The editor can also be opened by double-clicking a chord diagram in engrave mode. You can click the fret positions on each string to place a dot denoting a finger position. Click once at the top of a string to set it as omitted, shown as an X, and click again to set it as an open string, shown as an O. When two or more strings are fingered at the same fret, clicking again on any of the dots will show a bar. Clicking again will remove the bar. If any of the positions you set results in a pitch that is not in the chord you are editing the shape for, the note name at the top of the diagram will be colored red to warn you. Chord shapes are generally able to be moved up and down the neck to provide alternative shapes for other chords. However, if the shape you define definitely cannot do that, then uncheck this checkbox and it won't be considered when reviewing other chords. Pressing save will save the chord shape and close the editor, updating the score. Now that chord shape will be available as an alternative for other compatible chords. In the note input options, there is a new page all about chord diagrams with options that define how chords are chosen to be suitable shape alternatives. For example, you can choose whether to prevent Dorico from showing chords that contain the root. And if the root is present, whether it can or should be the lowest note of the chord. You can also specify whether certain intervals can be omitted in some altered chords. Showing the chord diagrams for another instrument or tuning is as easy as selecting another option from the list in setup mode. And you can show different tunings on different instruments in your layout. For example, here is the dadgad tuning. And here are chords for a ukulele. If Dorico cannot find a suitable chord diagram in the library, then it displays a blank diagram. In engrave mode, you can open the engrave menu and choose chord diagrams. Here, you can define new shapes for a chosen tuning. Give your new chord shape a memorable name and then specify it in the same way as we have been doing. When complete, you can save the chord and then either define a new one or close the dialog. Now, if Dorico can match your new chord shape to a chord in your project, it will update the diagram. The engraving options give you complete control over every aspect of the drawing of the chord diagram, including line thickness and spacing. 
Here is also where you change the size of chord diagrams. Chord symbols in Dorico are already extremely powerful and easy to use. However, we've added a couple of features to make it easier to show them in only the places you want to see them. Often, it is useful to show chord symbols only during slash regions. Now, when you right-click a player card in setup mode and look in the chord symbols menu, there is an option to show chord symbols only in chord symbol regions and slash regions. If you would like chord symbols to appear for a specific region where you don't want to use a slash region, you can make a selection and create a chord symbol region from the right menu. This can be edited using the usual methods and key commands for moving and editing duration. Chord symbol regions are visible even when not selected, so there's always something available for you to select and edit. They will not, however, print by default. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And subscribe to our Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.